Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. It must be Tuesday, although I've missed many Tuesdays in a row. Welcome everyone to Lightroom Live. Uh, it's been a bit of a month, let's be honest. Uh, work has been nuts. Uh, dedicating two nights to live streams was too much, and these are pretty labor intensive, so they had to go by the wayside while I took care of some actual work and paid some bills. That's what they say, right? Hopefully everyone can hear me. Uh, check in, let me know where you're watching from, and uh, how many photos you've submitted to this show. Because uh, there are a lot that are still in the queue. And I keep, like every week I kind of toy with the idea of like, well, maybe we should not do this show anymore, and maybe we should move on to other stuff. Uh, and then, <laughs> inevitably, a ton more photos come in. And uh, it... Uh, keeps me going. So thank you very much for sending them in. If you would like to submit your photos uh, and you've never seen this show before, uh, Lightroom Live is where I take your photos. You submit them to me via the email submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. I bring them into Adobe Lightroom Classic. We do some corrections to them and I send them back to you. Speaking of, there are a few people who, um, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. There's a few people here, uh, oops, who I need to get email addresses from again because uh, I was dumb <laughs> and deleted the email uh, that most of these came from. So uh, let's see if we can get these a little bit larger. There we go. Uh, Dale Chrisman, Dale Standfill, Daniel Baggett, Gary Underwood, General Hobbies, Hank B., Arrakis Logaris, Jason Cook, J. King RC, Joel Hull 3, uh, probably just Joel Hull, Mark Cargill, MNRC Killer, Nathan Diakiv, No Context, RC Patina Guy, even, um, Ronald Parada, Rusty Thomas, Sam Cyanide, Scale Metal Supplies, and Vidjo. I want to send these back to you guys, so do me a favor and uh, shoot me an email. Submissions at scalebuilders.com. All right, um, here's the first photo of the night. I'm just getting right into it. I'm not messing around tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I'm looking through the comment. Oh, many photos have been submitted. That's amazing. Thank you. Uh, hello, Bri Jane, uh, Big Red Bitch, Paul Megler, Chongi. Uh, who else is here? Kevin Gibbs. Uh, all kinds of people. Looks like Guy and a Moose. Hello, hello, hello. Andy Milner. G Shocker. Hi, buddy. Uh, one was not 100% serious. <laughs> um, all right. Are you going to do the thumbnail? Yes. Well, I'm not doing that thumbnail you posted, Wes. That thing looked. You should probably see a doctor. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's check this out. Uh, here's the first one. This was the thumbnail photo. This is from Oviju Maija, who has sent in a number of good photos of his gladiator before, and I thought this one was worthy of some work. Uh, one cool piece of tech that I'm using tonight, because I'm on a Windows computer, uh, I've got a Surface wheel. I don't know if you've seen this before, but this can actually go on a Microsoft Surface. And um, what this is is like a big giant scroll wheel. So I can click it, hold down, and it'll select certain things. So if I'm in Adobe Lightroom, as I am now, and I click on this, I've got two options that I've created. One of them is for sliders, and the other one is for brush size. So I can actually go in and vary the brush size or change the slider values without having to click around with the mouse a whole bunch. So this is going to be pretty handy. Um, so let's get started with this photo. Um, you can only stop Lightroom Live after I get the thumbnail picture. Ryan, uh, I know that you're, you're gunning for that. So um, send me a couple more photos for sure. Uh, let's get started on this one. Uh, let's go right into... Uh, we're already in the develop mode. So that's good. Why is that not... Why is that going away? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Um, all right. 
So, uh, white balance. Let's adjust that first. Ah, this slider is amazing. This is going to make things so much easier on me. So much more exact. Although it does go in 5% increments. So, yeah, I don't know if I love that. We'll, feel, we'll fiddle with that. Uh, I think I can make those adjustments. So, let's go with the tint here. A little more towards magenta. Uh, exposure is looking pretty good. Let's see if we can pull those highlights down a lot bit. There we go, so they're not so shiny. Um, shadows, I'm going to pull those up a little bit. That looks pretty good there. Uh, whites, I'll pull that down. Blacks, I'm going to give that a touch more too. Texture. Obviously, some clarity as well. I like Ovidio. He's done the uh, the headlight replacement. These are from um, Club Five, I think. Yes, Travis, welcome, sir. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, this is a Club Five bumper. Uh, Club Five uh, replacement fenders. It looks like uh, Night Customs. Maybe a Night Customs. Um, yeah, it does look like Night Customs for that uh, snorkel. And he's got a front runner uh, case on top there, too. Or a uh, thingy. Yeah, it's a thingy. All right, let's go over to a brush here. And uh, we can swap that brush size up and down. Look at that. I love this tool. And I'm going to paint in this foreground element here and some of these bits here just to give this a bit more depth, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, maybe even pull that exposure down a little bit too. Uh, man, I love this new thing. This thing is awesome. Cool. That looks pretty good there. Nice. Uh, happy birthday, country boy. All right. Um, gray truck, some browns. Let's go down to our HSLs here. And we're going to add some saturation in that orange there. Maybe pull a little bit on the red down. See if we can get some greens to pop a little bit here. Actually, I've got that good brush uh, for... Done with that. Brush. Enhance trees. So let's change that brush size. There we go. Just give some of these trees back here a little more green. That's pretty neat. Yeah, now we're talking. Cool. You know what? I think that looks pretty good. Oh, listening while shaking some PS5. You must be painting a body for Josh, Moose Jaw. <laughs> it certainly couldn't be for anyone else. Before, after, ooh, yeah. Let's go full screen on that. Nice looking shot from a Viju. Before and after. I think that's a marked improvement. That looks awesome. Done and dusted. All right, moving back to the beginning here. Mike Hogan offers us his 2017 JK from Axial see what we can do to this one here already got some nice warmth going on there so let me keep that where it is maybe lower our exposure a little tiny bit 
Add some more contrast back in, make it feel a little bit of like morning sun. For the Mazza. I mean Mazza. A Mazza. Tony and Mazza. You say Mazza, I say Mazda. <laughs> it's a callback. Does anybody know uh, what a callback is? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, a little more vibrance. Well, actually, yeah, a little tiny bit more vibrance. And a little more saturation. It's tough with all this shadow, Mike. So next time, try to get an angle where you don't have as much shadow in the foreground. It does feel as if there might be somebody standing there. I know it's probably just a hill, um, but give that a try for next time. I do like that you added a driver. That's good. All right, what else can we do here? Let's adjust the red here, just the hue. Get it to pop a little bit more. There we go. Maybe even bring the luminance down a touch. Pull our orange luminance up a little tiny bit. Same with yellow. So it's not so like really crisp and sharp. I, I tend to not try to use my credit card. What I do is I just put money in PayPal. Sell something, use PayPal to buy something else. Uh, let's bring some more drama into this sky here. We'll pull a gradient slider in and we'll make sky blue enhance and bring some more saturation back into that and a little more contrast there we go let's you know what now that i look at this one let's do a crop holy crop That's better. I like that. A little more clarity. For clarity's sake. Sky drama Bob Ross. It's a Bob Ross day. Everything's going to be happy. These are happy trees. I wonder if we do a little rotation, actually. Constrain that. There we go. That feels better to me. Now it feels like it's going uphill. Corpapalooza. I'm sure you meant crop. Alright, let's take a look at the before and after on that one. Oh yeah. Full screen. Full screen adjacent anyway. Before, after. For after. Uh, Bigger at Vetch, I'm sure I did. I haven't checked that email, if I'm honest. There's still about 80 unread messages, so I will definitely get to it. Uh, so thank you, Mike, for that submission. Uh, if you would like to participate, submissions at skillbuildersguild.com. I check that email infrequently. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of photos to get to, but I will get to them. Promises, promises. Uh, on to the next one. Ryan Burnsy. Or Burns. -a. Nice looking shot. Nice and crisp. Wet day out there, but nice mossy rocks. Great location. I really like um, the sort of the definition between the foreground and the background. That looks really, really nice. That's a great photo. To get cropped. <laughs> Uh, just a subtle crop. I just want to make it feel a little more rule of thirds and get it sort of, sort of into that realm there. There we go. Something, something like that. Much better already. So spam the email then. Yes, please. <laughs> um, all right. What are we, what are we going to do with this one? This white balance is really, really good. So I'm not going to make any adjustments there. 
Uh, exposure looks pretty good. I like the contrast, but I'm going to amp it up a little tiny bit. Uh, highlights, we're going to pull those down so we get a little more definition in that windshield. Uh, white's feeling pretty good. Black's definitely feeling good. Shadows, uh, I like where those are at. So let's pull the blacks down a little bit, amp up those shadows. Texture, I'm not going to go crazy on this one. Um, it's a nice stock truck. You don't really need to amp up texture on this Lexan body. It's pretty crisp. It's a good, it's a good body. Uh, a little more clarity there. Uh, definitely give it a bit more vibrance overall. And saturation feels pretty good. Gosh, you know, that's not, not a ton of difference as you can see or not see. Um, cause it just, it's a naturally good photo. Ryan took a really nice photo here. Let's throw a grad in there and enhance trees. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're getting a little aware somewhere here. Vibrance also tends to bring the blue out in the reflections of things. It's, or that's texture, sorry. Uh, vibrance is this slider. You can sort of see that happening. It definitely makes the truck more blue too, so you gotta be really careful with that. We can always mask out the truck and do everything else, which I just might do. Just kind of hit some of my things here. This is doing the enhanced trees uh, filter, which we will change now to... What are we going to change that one to? I think I just want to do an exposure or a vibrance. Where's my vibrance? It's weird. Not in there. Uh, let's make it a texture one and just give it more texture. But then we can also go in and bring up the saturation a little bit too. And it's just going to do those areas that I highlighted with the brush. So that's looking pretty good. I think we've made an improvement. Let's go full screen for a moment. That's a nice shot. I know, I know it's just a, a stock RTR, uh, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes simpler is better. I like it. Before, after. Before, after. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I like that. Thank you, Ryan, for your submission. That's looking really great. Um, I'll be sure to email that back to you if I have your email. If you see this and you're watching it, send me an email just so I have your email again, just in case. That goes for everybody tonight because there's a strong likelihood that I don't have your emails. Yeah, it is definitely Sting Gray video. Uh, it's a little little bluer than it would be in real life, but it it depends on the lighting. I dig it. Thanks very much for that submission, um, Ryan. Much appreciated. All right, on to the next one from Ryan Davis. Looks like he's out with his buddies, having some fun on the rocks. We've got uh, Jeep JK with a very angry grill. Uh, nice looking heavy Chevy, uh, some other sort of Jeep, maybe another Jeep behind it. Yes, Jeeps, Jeeps, but let's all have a Chevy. All right, what are we going to do to this? Ooh, I like what that's doing, that cool mat. Uh, <laughs> well, I am a pretty cool mat. <laughs> Um, hey, there's Ryan Davis. Hello, sir. Nice looking photo. Good collection of tiny trucks right there, sir. Uh, that cool matte filter really kind of brought out the trucks. I really like that. That's pretty neat. Um, so let's um, give this a bit more vibrance overall. Get those colors to pop a little bit more. We'll bring some more texture and some more clarity in as well. Not a ton, though, because I kind of like... Sort of that muted kind of feel. Uh, let's adjust the color of that red. And maybe we make it.
make it a bit more red. There we go. Same thing with that blue, just so these things really pop. Nice to see drivers in all these trucks as well. Kudos to, to that. Um, I thought about doing a rotation, but I don't know. I think that might kind of ruin some of the drama of this photo. Let's see what happens. Oof. That's about as far as I can go. And then if we constrain that, you're going to lose a lot of truck. So pretend I didn't do that. Uh, done. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that crop. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, shift, redo that hue shift. Hello, Craig. How are you tonight? Um, yeah, all right. What else should we do? Let's throw in a little blue there. And the enhanced trees. That always makes things look so good. I love that. Let's paint in some extra texture along here, too. Yeah. Now we're talking. That looks awesome. What a location. I love it. Hi, Robert. How are you tonight? Full screen. Cool beans. I like that one a lot. Before, after. See, we're just doing... Sometimes subtle is best before, after. I dig it. I think that's great. I'm really happy with that one. Thank you very much for that submission, Ryan. Uh, like I said, be sure to email me uh, so you can get these photos back. Because I, like a dummy, deleted all the emails. I was like, I gotta clean my inbox out. It's 80 gigs. That's right, 80 gigs of emails. On to the next one. Austin Carson sent this nice looking truck. <laughs> uh, that's the Proline SR5 body on TRX4. Ish. I think it's a TRX4. Great location. Nice depth of field. Um, really, really nice location. I love all this earth, that orangey earth. Uh, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Uh, let's let's do some stuff. Should we go cool? Uh, no. Let's stay kind of where it was in terms of white balance. Maybe swing it a bit greener. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's lower the exposure so it has some more mood. Somewhere in there. And then don't worry, I'm going to go in with my brush here and just paint... A nice little happy little vignette here just around our truck. I'm going to boost exposure and I'm going to boost shadow as well. I'm going to amp up our saturation there as well so it pops a little bit more. And I'm going to give it a bit more texture as well. Maybe a touch of clarity as well. Cool. Hi, Kevin RC, man. 80 gigs. Can you convert that to megabits? Megabytes? I could do megabytes. It's like 8,000 megabytes. <laughs> it's a lot. Hence why I was like, I gotta delete these. I was like, I've got the photos already. What else could I possibly need? <laughs> oh, yeah. The email address associated to it. Idiot. See, that's just taking our HSL slider and increasing the warmth on the orange, which just brings that to life. I think that looks so cool. And let's go back and do a brush here, enhance trees. I'm gonna do that there, here, over here, maybe up in there and there. And now all of a sudden you've got a pretty dramatic scene. I think that looks pretty good. I'm nailing these today, guys. I've already done five. Four. After. Four after. Four. After. I'm digging that. I think that looks pretty good. But before we end it, let's just do one of those right there. And we'll go sky blue enhance. And I don't know why it actually 
doesn't enhance it. Sky drama? No. Sky blue? Enhance. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Before. After. Red Toyota's an SCX-10 3. Huh. I never would have guessed. I should have guessed, though, based on that truss. Idiot. I just, I was thrown by the, uh, the, the, the diff cover. Yeah, Changi, I'm feeling well, well rested. I had a, a great couple of days off, not doing a ton of work, which was fantastic. A little bit of, you know, uh, housekeeping and maintenance and stuff. Got up and did a spin class today. I'm feeling great. So thank you for noticing that. I appreciate it. Tomorrow's Tomorrow night's live stream uh, takeover with Josh should be very exciting. It's another Professor Moose Jaw. So we'll be answering uh, Joe's questions and uh, winning bragging rights. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. It's going to be a good night. I'm looking forward to that too. Austin, thank you for your photo. Thank you for a great picture of a truck. Uh, looks fantastic. Love this environment. Uh, are you in the uh, Pacific Northwest by chance? Or just a really nice mossy area regardless great photo all right moving on william Sy uh william simonik sent uh, this pretty nice looking photo of a little toyota uh it looks like it's on a trx4 so this is that proline trx4 uh toyota land cruiser body which has got to be massive if i recall <laughs> i'm such a yuppie because I work out? I don't think that's enough of a reason to be a yuppie. Although I am not young, I do live in an urban area, and some people would call me a professional. <laughs> All right, let's correct this photo. Stop lollygagging. There we go. Pull these highlights down. Give us some more shadows. Pull the blacks back down a little bit. It's tough with these side lit shots. You want to get a little more um, uh, light on this front grill here, um, but it's not going to be easy to do. That helped a little bit. There we go. And do an overall saturation correction and pull in a little texture. That looks better already and some clarity. And now let's pull down that sky a little bit. It's feeling a little too much. There we go. That's better. Call that one done. Let's throw a vignette on this one. Maybe, maybe a heavy one. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That looks good. Let's go to our HSL sliders down here and bring our luminance up on our greens. Although I'm not sure that's going to track very well. That green is a pretty unique color, so let's see if we can uh, let's do a, just a window on the truck here. It's going to get darker for a moment. Bear with me. There we go. That's bringing it up a little bit better. It's tough when it's half in shadow and half in light. So, um, William, keep that in mind for next time. Uh, you definitely want to try to get more of the truck in in all light so we can get a better look at it here there that's pretty cool i like that looks pretty good mortal engines i've watched that movie it was okay it was okay Full screen on that one. Before. Wow. After. That is significant. 
That's a good looking land cruiser. Toyota FJ Land Cruiser. 45 ish. It's a decent looking body. It's it's proportionally, it's not so bad on the TRX4. They did a good job on that one. All right, William, thank you very much for your photo. Uh, let's move on to another one. Tom Rars sent us this cool, that's the Chevy Colorado body. I think, look at that. That's pretty neat. That looks very real. Let's enhance the realness. Zoom in and enhance. Which is actually a thing you can do now. When that joke was around, that was not a thing. Zoom in and enhance did not work. Nowadays, with technology, it does work a lot better. Great photo, uh, Tom. I, I like this body. I love the snow plow. I love the... Don't love the snow. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't have any more of that. Let's see what we can do here. I'm actually going to go in and make this even darker. And you're like, well, now we don't see the truck. Well, you couldn't really see the truck before. Uh, and I don't really think that's sort of the point of this photo. It's more about the environment and what it's doing. So we're going to try our best here. To try to make it feel a little more realistic. It's early morning. He's out doing his plowing duties. He's Mr. Plow. That's his name. That name again is Mr. Plow. <laughs> He's got the jacket and everything. Pull those highlights down a little bit. And we'll amp up our blacks. In fact, let's see if we can find a filter here that might even make this feel a little more realistic. See something like that red lift actually does make it feel pretty good. I'm going to go with it. Alex is not a real person. He is a robot. Uh, he's employed by YouTube. Robert, you're going to have to give me some clarity on that. SMY Betty. Oh, you mean the SMT Betty. No, I haven't finished it yet. I'm not even sure I want to now. After that LMT came out, and I realized I don't really like monster trucks all that much, I might not finish that monster truck. I'm going to keep the body, because that body is, um, you know, uh, rare at best. Um, I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, all right, there we go. I think that's going to do it. This one is a bit more challenging, but I think that feels a little more realistic than it did before, after. Let's go full screen for a moment. So it kind of feels like a real picture before, after. Yeah, I'm digging it. That looks pretty good. Thank you very much, Tom. Much appreciated. Let's move on to uh, Yuri Dedek. Yuri Dedek, I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Uh, somebody likes Jeeps. <laughs> that's a lot of jerps. But I like it. Great location, nice little poser shot. Who's driving that? The Predator? I think that's the Predator driving that truck sure why not we've got some sort of zombie man driving this one so predator seems completely acceptable and i think that's shrek back there i think it's i think it's shrek <laughs> oh wes i see what you're saying yeah, no, it's a real, like, it more realistic. Like, it's more like it's a real picture of a real truck. You know what I mean. Stop yanking my chain. Uh, nice collection of Jeeps, Yuri. Uh, let's, um, 
Let's make this look cool. Warmth is probably in order for this one. Maybe even tint it a little bit towards the magenta realm. Yeah, that's neat. A little less exposure. Not as much contrast. Okay, mini line, if uh, the photo uh, before that one is yours, send me an email so I can send it back to you, please. With the name, your real name, please. So that's how I listed these in most cases. Pull those highlights down a little bit. Uh, shadows, I kind of like the density where they are. You know what? Let's do a little tiny rotation here. Just a scotch. Strain that. That's better. All right, some texture. I like these Maxis Trepidors. I've always liked that tire. I still have a set. Never used them, though. A little bit of clarity. Oh, I also got to go to the chiropractor today, too. Everything's coming up, Maddie. Quack RC, hey man, congratulations on the baby. You had a baby. Hey man, great to see you back. I may not be around for long, but awesome work as always. I have a baby to take care of. Yes, you do. And that that money should go to your baby. Stop sending me money. You, you've got a baby now. Use it for the baby. Won't someone think of the children? Uh, congratulations, Quack RC. That's a big milestone in your life. I hope everybody's healthy and happy. And thank you for the $5. Much appreciated. Everybody give them a little uh, congratulatory message. Whoa, I love playing with the lens deformations. Sorry. Pay attention, Matt. Jeez. Got a show to do here. Medium. Vignette. And, uh, dang, that's looking pretty cool, actually. I like that one. Um, what else would we do? Let's play with the midtones. Yeah, now we're talking. That looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go full screen for a moment on that one before and after. Sweet as. That's a great photo. Thank you, Yuri. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, again, if you're watching this and you want me to send this photo back to you, please send me your email. I know you already did, but I deleted it. Moving on. Oscar... Oscar Kuro... Oh, yes. Oscar Kuro sent a nice-looking Range Rover Classic on a TRX-4. What an interesting choice. I would not have made that choice, but that looks pretty darn good. Uh, great location. Love these rocks. They rock, man. Very cool. Uh, top tip, top scale driver top tip for you today. Um, this body is about 8.5 scale. 1 to 85 so your drivers are a little undersized for this vehicle. These Range Rovers weren't massive. Uh, so a six foot tall man would be right up to the basic roof line here. So um, grab yourself a couple of larger drivers. Uh, for this one, you're probably looking at an eight inch driver. And that'll be just about perfect. You can pick up eight inch scale drivers from uh, ClassicTVToys.com. That's where I get mine. And uh, they work perfectly for this body. You might even be able to go a little bit larger. Might even... You could, if possible... I don't know if they're out there. Maybe get like a 10-inch character. 9-inch character would probably be just about spot on. Uh, Brian Sherwood, thanks for the $2. Sorry, Josh takes all my money. Well, you should call the police. Don't let Josh take your money. 
Or call like your local ombudsman or something. Do you have ombudsman where you are? Uh, Dale C, that's a really good idea. I could post the edited photos on a thread on the Scale Builders Guild. That's an amazing idea. Why didn't I think of that? I will do that. Uh, I will put all, whatever, however, however many I've done, they will all go up there. Great idea. Uh, let's give this a touch more exposure so we can see a bit more of this truck. It looks like a nice British Racing Green. Same color I did mine, actually. A little more texture. And some clarity, too. Definitely more vibrance. And a little touch of saturation. Let's go in and do these headlights. Uh, older Range Rovers like this would definitely have had incandescent bulbs. So let's warm those right up. Duplicate that window and bring it over here. I love it. I love it, this trick. This is another photography top tip for tiny trucks. That's so much better. Um, let's pull the brush in here. And we'll do a sky blue enhance back there. And we'll be done with that brush. And then we'll do another one. And we'll paint some elements of this truck here bring our exposure up a little tiny bit so we can see a tiny touch more of that you can see how that makes a big difference can't go too far that's probably far enough done with that brush let's do another brush enhance trees and we're just going to do that right there and right there sick I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, and that's Rolodex fell on the toilet. Why am I looking at my Rolodex in the bathroom? I don't know. But I was. Full screen for a moment. That's a cool shot. This, for me so far, this might be the shot of the week. Uh, I think that looks pretty amazing. Before. After. Sick as. I like my Range Rover. I can't wait to actually drive it. I'm going to take it out, I think. Maybe this weekend. Tom, this is Adobe Lightroom Classic. Which is my favorite photo editing application. Before. After. I love it. Great photo. Thank you, Oscar. Much appreciated. Moving on to the next one. From Teton 3000. Nice looking. This is a Gen 8. With a Jeep JK body. Pretty cool. Looks like it's well used. Well, well traveled too. Looks like it's been in a number of comps. Good for you for getting out there and having some fun. Alright. Let's do a crop on this one first. We'll do pretty aggressive crop. There we go. By losing this house and all this stuff in the background, I think we're going to make it feel a little bit more realistic. More real than it is already real. Touch less exposure. Pull those highlights down a little bit. And bring our shadows back up a touch. Definitely bring some texture in there and some clarity as well. More vibrance. And saturations, it's pretty saturated already. Uh, but let's go into the satur or luminance of our red and just bring that up a little bit. Just going through the comments here. Maybe try to amp up the saturation on red a little bit too. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Full screen for a moment on that one. Before, after. Let's throw a vignette on there as well. Just a medium one. 
I think that looks pretty good. Realer, realer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. All right, thank you, Teton. Very much appreciated. I hope you're uh, watching, and if you are, send me an email so I can send that back to you. David Prill, why do I feel like we did this one? Feels very familiar. Maybe we didn't, though. Got some SBG bumper stickers on there. I accept that. Thank you very much. I should do some more of those soon, huh? Yeah, it's been a little while. All right. I feel like our warmth here is coming through loud and clear. That's feeling pretty good. Maybe a little touch less exposure. Pull our highlights down a little bit. Get our shadows boosted. Excellent tire choice. You know I have a problem with this tire. As in, I tend to try to put it on everything. Stickers are great! <laughs> I agree. A little more texture. Oh, yeah. Clarity. It's got the natural wave in the doors, like a real JL. A little more saturation. And touch less vibrance. Actually, it feels pretty good. I like the cut window, too. Classic SBG touch. Very good. Let's take a look at some presets, perhaps. Ugh, those are all hurting in my eyeballs. And I'm sure they're destroying your televisions <laughs> if you're watching on one of them. There's one in here that I thought was working pretty well. That cool light kind of looks interesting, but I kind of like where we're at. Oh, yes. Robbie Bobster, you are absolutely right. If I forget about um, bedrolls as a bumper sticker option, I'll be disappointed in myself, too. Uh, before, after, subtle correction, but it definitely brought out some elements to it that uh, make it feel a little better. I think that's looking pretty good. Thank you, David, for your submission. Uh, 918. Okay, we got about 12 minutes or so. Let's see what's next. Richard Yap. What a location. Wow. That's spectacular. What do we got going on here? What kind of axles? Are, oh, Traxxas, that he's done some brazing work to his own chassis. Very cool. Those are some heavy-duty axles, man. Never seen anything quite like that. Nice SR5 uh, body on the front there. Uh, th thanks to my mods for reminding everybody about the email issue. I really appreciate that, guys. You are the best. Checks in the mail. Let's do a little horizon check there. That's going to help, I think. Yeesh. Oh, my neck hurts a little bit. I'm sitting in this chair. Sorry. Uh, yeah. What are we going to do next? I like our white balance. Go touch more. Pink. There we go. Uh, give us a little boost in the shadows because I want to see more of what's going on back here. There's some nice cage work there. Dale, I think we could probably work thick in there somehow. I don't see why not. Just going to do an overall exposure boost on our truck. 
so we can see it a little bit better. See what we can get here in terms of, there we go, that's pretty nice. Actually, you know what, let's do that sky drama. There we go. And I'm actually going to lower our saturation on that. Just a scotch. Maybe even change our hue slightly too. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to do a brush on this mountain range here. We're going to do that Enhance Trees button. That looks pretty dope. Then let's go down to our HSLs and pull up our orange slider so we get a bit more of that ground. Then I'm going to go back to my brush on the truck. A little more exposure boost raising of those shadows. I'm going to pull the highlights down at the same time. There we go. That looks pretty good. Before, after. I think that's added some significant drama. Just saw Wes's message. I'm still tracking 8675309 for that rig you sent me a long time ago. <laughs> so good. Is that truck chrome? No, I think it's probably like a granite silver. Uh, before, yeah, definitely in the silver kind of range. After. I love it. This may be shot of the stream, eh? Okay, well... To each their own. I think that's a great shot, definitely. Richard, thank you very much for your submission. Um, okay, let's get a couple more in here if we can. Tim LeBeau sent a nice-looking blazer. Blazer. Not a giant photo, but we'll work with what we've got here. Looks like the first opportunity I've got to get rid of some leaves, which is everyone's favorite trick. Uh-huh. Oh, that one just took another leaf from somewhere else. There we go. Leaf. Leaf removal machine. I'm on fire tonight, guys. <laughs> All right. No more... Leaf be gone. Let's do a little crop on this too. There we go. Try to get, and I say this a lot, but try to get lower. Get a little bit lower to the ground. Imagine you are the size that this truck is. Imagine you're a small man. You're eight feet, eight inches. You're eight inches tall, for example. Where would the camera be? wouldn't be up here it would be down here that's one of the things I do every single time get as low as humanly possible let's keep our white balance fairly warm kind of crisp let's do you know what because this is an old truck let's go vintage Vintage Instant is definitely one of my favorite presets. It just crushes those shadows, which I like. I think it works. A touch more vibrance overall, because colors always tended to be a little more oversaturated in the 70s and 80s. And then we're going to throw some grain on it. Light grain. Light vignette as well. And I think we've got a winner. Let's 
Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a good way to uh, describe it there, Mike. Exactly. Before. Where did all those leaves go? After. Before. After. Before. After. Bef no. Before. <laughs> after. There we go. That's looking great. Thank you very much for that, Tim. Much appreciated. No, the, the sun flares are a good thing, Robert. Adds realism. You'd get sun flares on a real truck. Why not on a tiny one? All right, some more heavy metal. Ford Bronco. Cool location. I love this rock. It rocks. So let's do the same thing again. Let's add some grain. I think we can go medium on this one. We'll go vintage instant again. Now it's a magazine cover. Bronco Monthly. In this issue, Broncos. <laughs> that is a pretty good flex, too. I mean, it's a weird flex, but okay. It's fine. Uh, let's do a little bit extra Wait, shadows. We're going to lift our shadows there just so we can see that grill a little bit more. And maybe whatever that wheel is there. There we go. This episode of Bronco Monthly. Five Broncos. Next issue, more Broncos. <laughs> Give it a little more texture. In this episode, in this issue, we review the latest Bronco. Turns out it's a Bronco. All right, that's enough. All right, and I think that's looking pretty good good looking bronco luke thank you for your submission uh before after full screen cool before after do shots like this really limit your color palette not really kevin um for example uh, if we go down into our HSLs, I can change the hue on these yellows. So I can go way more yellow, as you can see. Right, let's zoom in for you. I can go quite red or quite yellow just in those in that one slider alone. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do to kind of change these things. You can even go in and change the luminance. And then if you wanted to, you could pick the whole color and shift it to another color if you wanted. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you know, you can even go like really crazy with it if you wanted. Throw some green into those those shadows, which if I'm honest, isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. It's kind of, you know, we've made it a little more affected, but it still kind of holds up. You know, you get used to it and it's there. But there's a lot of ways you can play with a photo. And even with a limited color palette like this, there's a ton of range that you can still have with it. It's just about how you creatively decide you're going to change something. And on that note, that's... 14 photos tonight so that might be a slightly new record um, but yeah um, let's uh, let's go through them all together uh, we'll start with the cover photo which was somewhere here it is that was from Ovidu full screen on that before after very cool uh, and put in the comments here which you think uh, which photo was the photo of the week Mike Hogan's Jeep JK before after Ryan Burns uh, XJ I like this one a lot before 
after. He sent me a great photo, so it didn't require a ton of change, which is always easy for me. This cool shot from Ryan Davis, before, after. That one you should actually see not full screen, because I think it shows off a lot more of the environment. Um, Austin Carson, I love this photo. That one's really good too. Before, after. Williams, uh, FJ, love. I almost called it an FJ Cruiser. What's wrong with me? Land Cruiser FJ45. Before, after. Tom Rars. Moving snow. Before, after. Yuri's uh, trio of JKs before. There's a big change on this one. After. That one looks pretty good, too. Uh, Oscar's Range Rover Classic before. After. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that one's pretty good, too, there, Sean. I like that one a lot. Teton 3000's uh, JK Gen 8 before. After. David Prill's JL, before, after. Richard Yap's uh, SR5, TRX4, before, after. Tim LeBeau, some vintage metal, before. Leaves, after, no leaves. And Luke's Bronco. That one should, you should see full or not full screen as well. Before, after. What a collection of great photos. Uh, guys, thank you so much for all your submissions. It means a lot. And I love doing this show. We'll try to keep it going for a little while still. Um, I feel like it's a little stale. It's not really getting uh, the attention that uh, I think feel like it should uh, but I'm definitely enjoying doing it it's certainly a lot of fun so hopefully you keep watching tell all your friends uh, stay tuned tomorrow uh, live stream takeover episode 50 something uh, and um, we're gonna have Professor Moose John again tomorrow night and a running video of the super scale 2020 trekker coming Thursday so keep your eyes peeled for that that video definitely seemed to have hit a chord with people. Uh, it definitely got a lot of attention. So um, hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep that going. Joe, I have no idea. I don't know. But there's still like, I can't remember the dates on these. Um, that came in November 25th of, 19, of 2020. So... <laughs> there you go. I'm only a few months behind. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for live stream takeover. Take care. Have a good night. Love you. Bye.